Hello, Jamie from Inky and Scrappy, sharing with you today a quick galaxy background using up those watercolors and distress reinkers I have on my desk and trying a new to me trick. I guess I had this idea the other day and I was like, hmm, I wonder if that would work. So when I watercolor, I like to use up all of the stuff that's sitting on my palette, aka my glass mat and or desk. If it's in a palette, I'll let it sit because it can dry and I can rehydrate it. No big deal. But I was using my desk for my palette today and so I decided to make a galaxy background since I had so much black soot re left. Galaxies look like a hot mess. Oh, they're like my cup of tea. Total hot mess. So I just came in with some blue, some green, and then I added in some orange and then some just villainous potion in distress reinker because that was at the ready, you know, within grabbing distance. So I could have added some pinks or some reds to this. That would have looked beautiful as well. It really doesn't matter because you're just going to paint over it with black. And so you don't get you know, a whole lot. You did, you get the shades that'll pop through or some color variations that'll pop through, but you know, it's not, oh, you know, just, just it's a hot mess. You just slap and color on, truthfully. And I did dry it with the heat tool and then I did end up spraying on top of it again because I couldn't get that black to move as well as I wanted it to. This was a cheap, a super cheap, heavyweight watercolor paper. I think it's a six, it might be a five by seven, but it could just be a four by six. I don't even know. And then because I couldn't get the black as black as I wanted it, I just grabbed my black distress spray stain and just sprayed that over the top. And then I blotted some of that off to get the background, you know, those background colors to kind of show through in spots. And then I'm just taking a orange orange or yellow mica spray just to get some added sparkles in there and then here was where the magic happened so I love galaxy backgrounds I do not like the white splatter soaking up my other colors I want white splatter that's going to be white like super white and so I had the idea that if I take the distress resist spray and as long as I worked fast enough I could get the distress resist spray to hold on to my embossing powder. I'm sure I could do this a few different ways. This one just felt to me like the fastest and I didn't actually have to like break out my reinker for my Versamark and try to figure out how to splatter that on here. It was super fast, super easy and look at those white speckly flecklies. And they add this amazing texture. So I did run my hand over this a couple of times after it was dry because it just has those raised bumps and it feels so cool. Plus, some of that dis Distress Resist spray dried before I could get the embossing powder on it. And it just gives a black raised glossy look. You know, it just adds one more layer of dimension and depth to that galaxy background. This one is going to go in my galaxy background folder, and I will pull it out when I need a, ga a galaxy background again. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.